Well, here we are back at St Mary's Lock. Um, camping at the car this time. And Mr Globetrotter brought his car because he's very lazy. Isn't that right, Mr Globetrotter? Yeah. So he's got his old tent here. What, what kind of tent is this? A Gallert? Gallert. Gallert. It's not bad. Yeah, Quite an old tent, isn't it? Yeah. But it's, it does the job well, doesn't it? It's got plenty of room. Yeah. So I've got my banshee over here, set up. Side. I'll put it up, put it up for you. It's the surrounding neighbours, there's other folk over there camping, family, a couple of uh, minibus and some cars. They're all set for the night. I've got a wee fire going. We are going to have a wee barbecue here. Maybe we've got a wee fire too if we can find some wood. That's us, uh, got the barbie going now. Um, about just after five o'clock, is it? You know. Um, right, quarter past five. So we've got this barbie on. Just some burgers and some sausages from Moffat, and some nice express bakery rolls. Lovely. Lovely. Lovely jubbly. Oh, got a couple of burgers. Well, that's me. Got the first Cronenberg open. Cheers. Enjoying a wee drink now on beside the lock here. And then got the little fire going. Not much of a fire, not much wood, but better than nothing. All right, Mr. Globetrotter, are you enjoying your beer? Yeah. Good, good. Lovely here, St. Mary's Lock. Lovely. Lovely. <laughs> oh, I think that will do. I've had enough tonight, I think. Well, that's me. Oh, ready again. Ready for another adventure in the morning. Let's be back onto the Southern Upland Way once again. And Mr. Goldtrotter, he's in, in his tent. He's away to his bed. Actually, when I left him tonight, he was lying down by the lock. Um, I don't know what he was doing, he had his face in the water like he was having a drink. I don't know. He's probably going to be out there in the morning. But none of my nothing to do with me. So I'm sure he'll be fine. He'll be in his tent for the morning. Um So yeah. Southern up on the morning. Um, following the trail up to Coxburn Path. It's about 60, 70 miles to go. Um, I'm going to walk it over the next few days. Back at St Mary's Lock. Um, yep, so that's basically it. So, well, it's been a good night here at St Mary's Lock. It's a great place to camp. Um, it's not actually St Mary's Lock, it's Log of Lowe's. But it's beside St Mary's Lock. Anyway. That's me, um, had a few drinks tonight and I'm ready to go to sleep. So, I'll speak to you all now and let's see if we can make it to Coxburn Path, ready to start the National Trail um, next month. Am I today? Oh, I suppose I better get up. Oh, got 10 miles to walk today, possibly more. Don't know how far I'm going yet, I haven't decided. I'm just to keep walking, head for the hills and see how long it takes. See what Mr. Mr. Globetrotter's up yet. Mr. Globetrotter. 
Mr. Globetrotter. Mr. Globetrotter. Are you up? Are you up? Oh, I've got to have a look. Oh, he's not here. I don't know where he's gone. He was here last night. It's disappeared overnight. Don't know. Where he's gone. Oh well. Didn't even take the Barbie with him. Oh well, back in make some breakfast. happened to him. I'm not happy with him for just disappearing. He should be here in case there's wolves or bears or something that we'll have to fight off. Takes two takes two people, takes two hunters to kill a to kill a fox. So he should be here and I'm not going to be very happy at all. Starting the day with a coffee and some porridge. Oat burst, you get three for a pound in the farm foods and you get three for four pound on the coffee in Tiso store in Glasgow. Lovely. Well, I don't know what happened to Mr. Globetrotter, he's just, just disappeared on me. Um, I did, last time I saw him, he was <coughs> kind of down by the lock with his head in the water. Um, I thought he was maybe talking to the ducks, but I don't know what was up with him, but I just left him. So maybe, maybe he's in a mood with me and he just has decided he hasn't had enough of me for not helping him. Helping him, maybe he was in trouble, I don't know. But um, he's not here anyway, so I'm going to be walking this. Southern Upland Way all by myself. All the way to Coxburn Path if I make it that far. And then Dunbar. Well, here we are, leaving St Mary's Lock, well, Lock of Lowe's, leaving Lock of Lowe's and heading on to uncharted territory on the Southern Upland Way. So I am here and today I'm walking 10 miles to Traquir. I might go on further but that was Lock of the Lows last night where we camped now we're passing St Mary's Lock up through the more hills and stuff um, to eventually arrive at Traquia which is just up here so another exciting day ahead Well, it's 
a, a lovely day here um, by St Mary's Lock Isn't it lovely? So I'm back on the Southern Upland Way again and I've not been in this section yet So we're heading for Traquair A 10 mile walk in the sun uh, Obviously that's the reason I've got this uh, I had to put this balaclav on today I don't want my face getting burnt because it is quite warm, you know Plus the midges might be out later so just got to watch, you know So um, yeah, and then I'm going to try and head for Coxburn Path and complete the Southern Upland Way in the next few days So that should be fun I've got some pick and mix and I've got an energy drink in here to keep me going And I'd, I've got one of my favourite drinks with me today as well You only get it in certain areas uh, mostly Dumfries and Galloway uh, red, Curry's Red Cola, one of my childhood favourites so i um, glad to drink it now um, that will keep me going for half an hour and keep me motivated, you know Well, that's me reaching the top end of St Mary's Lock now Just um, stop for a wee five minute break here I found Dry Hope Tower, so I'm going to go down over across the Spira Bridge here and visit the tower and see if it's worth visiting and see if there's anybody there and maybe there's a cafe inside a Starbucks and maybe I'll get a coffee if I'm lucky. Oh, oh yes, isn't it lovely? Oh. I hope I can find a wee way inside here I'll maybe take up residence and now is that the entrance? or is that the exit? I don't know I'll have to look round and see if there's another gate to get in eh, uh, nope, that's definitely the entrance well, I'm going to not take my bag in so I'll just take my bag off here and now and I'll take a wee climb up and see if it's worth living in I might move here uh, Let's put a new lock on the door and the gate and I'll be fine Looks nice up this part of the woods Oh lovely Oh, oh. oh look at this, isn't this nice? Oh. oh lovely, look at this Elegant Well, let's have a wee look up the stairs We'll go up and we'll see what the view's like, will we? Let's go on up I'm just going to switch the camera off because the battery's a wee bit low Here we are, are we at, at the top? Oh, it's lovely Oh yes Look at that Oh, this is the view from the ascent I've got some lovely sheep down there And uh, far and there's the lock over there, St Mary's Lock Back over there Right, and over here just got some farmland uh -huh. Not very exciting uh, Yep So, it's lovely up here isn't it? I could just do a with an ice cream just now uh, Cornetto or something like that Magnum maybe And that would go down a treat And that was nice and now we're heading back down And back out again Nah, I don't think I'm going to move in there It's nice but Nah, I prefer my, my um, wee banshee I think My wee tent Oi! Lamb chops! Lamb chops! Lamb chops! Lovely! Dinner! Lovely dinner! Lamb casserole tonight! Lamb casserole! What are you saying for yourself? Eh? Yeah. 
Not much to see then. Well, I don't know who's right and who's wrong, but Walk Highlands website says that St Mary's Lock to Drakir was 10 miles. Uh, according to this sign, uh, is 12 miles, 7 plus 5 equals 12, so somebody is wrong. I thought I was almost done my 10, 10 miles to Traquir, but I haven't, I've got another 5 miles to go. Uh, some Someone needs to sort their head out somewhere along the line anyway. Well, we're um, still about five miles from Traquir now. Just heading over the hills. Hopefully there won't be too many steep hills. Just keep it nice and easy for me. That'll be fine. Don't like it too, too strenuous, you know. Okay, I've got a bit of a complaint to make now uh, to the range doors. Uh, the range, um, I've bought this pick and mix of 199 from the range. Um, and all the sweets, most of them seem to be rock solid, too hard, you can't even chew them without breaking your teeth, or almost breaking your teeth. So the range, if you're watching, please close your lids on your pick and mix, and uh, that won't happen in future. And please sack your staff that left the tubs open. I would also like a refund and some compensation for this mishap. Okay, and that's my... That's the end of my message to the range. Well, there's my first view there. To queer. Uh, well, I think to queer is there at the right little small village place. And then Inner Leithen, slightly bigger town, is there on the left. I'm going to carry on through to queer and see where I end up tonight. I might aim for the uh, Mint Moor, where there used to be a lot of coffee. It was demolished. But I'm sure I'll be able to camp there. So I'm going to aim. I think I'll aim for there tonight. Might take me about three hours to get there. Alright, okay, so that's me at Trickwear now. <sighs> I might find somewhere to sit down for a bit. And then carry on. Lovely wee place. Okay, so here we are, we're at Traquair. Well, it's half a mile away. We're not going into Traquair. Um, we're just going to carry on following the Southern Upland Way. This is this way. Well, here they are, into the evening now. It's just after five o'clock. Past tr Truckwear, just up, heading up into Minch Moor now, find somewhere to camp for tonight. Still a lovely, it's been a lovely day and it's a lovely evening now, so hopefully it won't be too long till I find my destination, which is the uh, old Minch Moor Boffy, which is now demolished. But uh, if I find that area, I should be able to camp there, hopefully. So that's where I'm heading now. Well, I'm almost at the top of the hill now. I still haven't found the old Minch Moor Boffy yet. The demolished Boffy. Um, I don't know if I've passed it or not. I'll just keep going up the hill. See if I get to it. Uh, a massive view here. Some kind of um, conservation monument thing. Um, personally, I think it's crop circles. I think aliens have landed here at some point and they didn't want to remove the evidence. Well, the truth is definitely out there. It's out there somewhere. Well, here I am at the top of Minch Moor. Looking back down on Inner Leafin. That's Inner Leafin down there.
morning now. Quarter to seven. I've been walking since night, uh, half past nine this morning. Made this like only got one beer, but that's all I need tonight. So. I tried to find the old um, ruined boffy, demolished boffy, uh, Minch Moor. I uh, couldn't find it. I went up Minch Moor for a wee look. Uh, all that 500 metre climb. Couldn't see it anywhere. I just wanted to find it. I thought maybe there'd be a good camping spot beside it up in the hill, you know. But, ah, uh, it doesn't matter. I'll just I'll do it for tonight. It's not the best, but it's quite close to the path. Not what I wanted, but it's only for one night, isn't it? I don't think I'm going to be moving in. So. Yeah, cheers to that. Right, so that's us all pitched up and set up here in this little spot near the path. That's the path there. That's the Southern Upland Way continues this way. That's where I'll be heading tomorrow. But for tonight, this is where I am. This is where I'll be. Yeah, so I've got everything ready now. I'm just waiting to start cooking in a minute, get something to eat. It's about half past seven, I think. Uh, and I'm going to get some, collect some sticks and I'm going to use the wood burning stove tonight I've got it with me in here so I'm going to set that up find some sticks and then I'm going to cook my dinner and see if you can guess what it is tonight it's um, something um, a bit different to usual so All right, so it's pretty peaceful out here that's just a view from the path here where, I've, where I'm camping um, I've got to go up that hill tomorrow I think over this way, um, or it could be that way, over that hill anyway I think. Uh, yep, so that's tomorrow's plan and I don't know how many miles I've got to go tomorrow but I'm going to just show you where I am exactly and that's back to the tent here. <sighs> right then, let's see. Yep. So just for a change tonight, I'm having some Spam with real bacon. Uh, it's a bit different to what I normally have. Normally I just have the plain uh, Spam. So tonight I'm being adventurous and going for it. Yep. Okay, uh, so maybe this is a bit too close to the tent, possibly. Um, but it should be alright. So here goes. Let's put this on. And then get the spam on, innit? There we go. Oh, that's the spam. That's the second roll. Just about done now. Lovely. Spam with real bacon. A wee bit of pepper. The seasoning. And then... Some of the... My last, very last sachet of brown sauce. That I got on the West Highland Way last year. It's the final one. So I'm going to have to go back to the West Highland Way soon to get some more. Mmm. Spam and brown sauce. Lovely, lovely. Mmm. Well, it's getting late now. It's uh, nearly 10 o'clock. So I'm just going to use up the rest of these wee sticks that I collected. Uh, and keep myself warm before I head to oh, head off to my bed. For a long day, I'll probably have an early night tonight. There's not much else to do, so just get myself warmed up here. Maybe have a hot chocolate, don't know yet. I've, I've 
Depends if I can get water tomorrow, I'm going to need to get water. Uh, yep, so that's what I'm going to do and then I'm going to get into my sleeping bag, get nice and cosy and have a nice peaceful night um, with the sound of the birds and the owls and the wolves and anything else that's lurking about in the woods. See you in the morning.